In 2014, St. Louis is celebrating 250 years of history. To commemorate the founding of the city, the Missouri History Museum has put together an exhibit called 250 in 250. This year-long exhibit will tell the city's history through the stories of 50 people, 50 places, 50 images, 50 moments, and 50 objects. The museum's public historian shares with us selections from one of the exhibit's five sections. We're now standing in the uh, 50 images section of the 250 and 250 exhibit. And 50 images is interesting um, in that it's all, all the images are arranged into a slideshow so you can sit and watch them scroll by. We show the image in the corner and then a uh, big blown up portion where you can pan across and see details in the image that you might otherwise miss. The 250 and 250 exhibit team um, chose all, almost all of the images from our collections. We have a, a really extensive collection of photographs and prints and so we had a lot to choose from. They laid out quite a few of them on a table and the exhibit team chose ones that we thought best represented the fullness of St. Louis history. We purposely chose to leave out any images that would show recognizable St. Louis landmarks. This isn't images of the best buildings of the city or images of famous streets or anything like that. This is images of regular St. Louisans just going about their lives. Some of these are very personal moments um, that, that just happen to be caught and they're, they're really powerful in that sense that um, it's, it seems like another time but it's so relatable. The oldest image in here absolutely is a illustration of two St. Louisans done by Anna Maria von Full. She was an early St. Louis woman and she drew these people in 1818. Uh, it's one of the earliest known illustrations of any St. Louis person even though St. Louis was already 70 years old by that point. Um, it's, it's a really exciting image because she chose to draw regular people. It, it, this wasn't the, uh, the commanders of the, of the French military at the time. This was just average St. Louis Creole people going about their business and seeing their dress and everything is really fantastic. Um, and then the newer images, they chose to include one from Grand Center's first night, which is St. Louis's yearly um, New Year's Eve celebration. And so this was taken either last year or the year before. And so this is happening as we speak. So we have everything all the way back to the, the early American days of St. Louis up to just a few years ago. When you're not talking about a famous place or a famous street, how do you describe what people are seeing? So like I mentioned, we tried to choose images that um, sort of had a theme to them already, like looking at the images and saying there's something definitely special about this particular image that we could point out to people and really try to make a connection with them. One of the really good images in the uh, section is right as World War II was ending, when World War II was declared over and people are lined up and down Washington Avenue, which today is a, a large nightlife street, our, our, kind of our loft district. At the time, you can see just as many people as on a Saturday night now. They're lining the street and there's confetti, and um, two women are riding on the hood of a car with their hands in the air. This is a really iconic American image. Like, everybody understands what was taking place here as World War II was ending. But to see it specifically in St. Louis is really interesting for people who live here because you can recognize this street. You've walked down it before, but here it is, sort of in the middle of America's big moment. So one of my favorite images, and probably the only one with a really recognizable area in St. Louis, uh, but an area that St. Louisans hold very dear, is, was taken on Art Hill. Um, Art Hill was the main hill of the 1904 World's Fair. They had a huge cascading waterfall that went down it, and the art museum is at the top still today. Um, the reason Art Hill is so popular with St. Louisans, though, is because it's the perfect place in the city to sled. And on any winter day, when there's even half an inch of snow, you'll find somebody out there trying to sled down the hill. The image that we have in here that features Art Hill um, was taken right after the World's Fair closed. And it's these people in turn of the century clothes that you always, when you picture these people, you always picture them walking daintily down the sidewalk. These people are sliding down the hill with their, with their big flowing hats and their suits on. And when you look at what their sleds are, you realize they've actually stolen chairs from the World's Fair and they're using them as sleds. And it's just such a fantastic picture because 
all the Victorian prim properness is gone. They're sliding down a hill and they're having a great time. You can see the smiles on their faces. It's just a really wonderful image. And it, it cuts so close to home because as a kid, I slided down Art Hill and, and so did my parents. And um, it's really a, a fantastic picture. Everybody has family pictures. Everybody has a family photo album, whether you're, uh, you've got them on Polaroids or you've got them digitally on the computer. That's sort of a timeless thing, the collection of pictures of your family. Um, we kind of thought of this as like the big St. Louis family and collecting their pictures and the idea that these are so personal because it feels so at home. It feels like this could be your house that, and there a few of these are, are recent enough that these people probably are still living, the people who are in the images. Um, so we wanted a section where the, the big history was taken out of it and this was all about personal um, looking inward history.